Oh yeah, look at that facelift. I am so happy I got this. They took at least 10 years off. Ooh, you go, girl. <laughs> yeah, that's never gonna happen. So plastic surgery is pretty common today. In fact, if you just don't like something about yourself, whether it's your face, your stomach, whatever, you can just go to the plastic surgeon and they can fix it like that. Of course, plastic surgery is by far the most expensive option to change your appearance, assuming it's something that you could change otherwise through something like your diet to lose weight. But hey, it's convenient, quick, and safe. Most of the time. Sometimes plastic surgery does not exactly go as well as people would have hoped. Sometimes people end up looking like Mr. Potato Head. You put the lip right there. So today, I'm going to present you with some of the absolute scariest examples of people who have either had way too many plastic surgeries or just one or two but had them completely botched. So without further ado, here are the 10 worst plastic surgery disasters. Number one is Maria Cristerna. Ha! Oh, Jesus. Maria Cristerna, also known as the Vampire Lady, is a 40-year-old Mexican-born woman who suffered through domestic abuse from her husband until she left him and decided to make some drastic changes. She, of course, went to go get therapy and other forms of help, but... That just wasn't enough for her, mm -mm. She decided to go get drastic cosmetic changes, including titanium implants that look like horns in the sides of her skull near her temples. But that's not all. She also got implanted fang-like teeth, large piercings, and extensive amounts of tattooing on her face and upper torso. But actually, Maria now travels the world as a successful DJ and even gives talks on domestic abuse to women in her hometown of Guadalajara, Mexico. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> Now, of course, at first, people who saw her walking would understandably cross to the other side of the street, but now she's simply known as the friendly neighborhood vampire. Number two is Donatella Versace. This woman has had more handwork done than the very bags she creates. Donatella Versace is the head designer for the Versace fashion brand ever since her brother Gianni passed away in 1997. The 61-year-old has undergone so many plastic surgeries on her body, it's made her look almost like a cartoon caricature of her former Herself. Over the years, she has had everything imaginable done. Lip injections, facelifts, multiple nose jobs, one of which was botched, Botox, laser resurfacing on her skin, I don't even know what that is, and multiple implants of every kind. But I guess it worked because even at the age of 61, she has almost no wrinkles. Well, yeah, of course she's gonna have no wrinkles. She looks like she just walked out of a boxing match with Mike Tyson. Yeah, I think this is going really good. I think we've got at least one more round ahead of me. Yeah. Number three is Pete Burns. Pete Burns was the singer for the British band Dead or Alive, who's best known for their hit single, You Spin Me Round. The 57-year-old became addicted to plastic surgery at some point during his career and eventually got cheek implants, lip injections, and nose jobs. Back in 2006 on a British television special entitled Pete Burns Cosmetic Surgery Nightmares, he revealed that his doctors had actually botched a job on his lips and he had to spend a year and a half and almost all of his money on procedures in an attempt to fix it. He actually ended up suing the surgeon for 1 million pounds and ended up settling for 450 50,000 pounds. I genuinely want to understand why people are so obsessed with trying to look like a duck. I mean, I wouldn't want to walk around having people wonder if I have the ability to eat soup. It's almost in there. Can I have a towel? Number four is Amanda Lepore. Amanda Lepore is a famous American transgendered model, singer, and socialite who's been featured in several well-known advertising campaigns for companies like MAC Cosmetics, Swatch, among others. The 48-year-old had her first cosmetic surgery done at the age of 15, and by the end of high school, she received a sex change. Since then, she received numerous procedures on her face and body, increasing her feminine physical attributes. Whether you're transgendered, gay, or or straight, if you get some changes on the outside to better reflect what's on the inside, I am all for that and I support you. But if you start to look like Jessica Rabbit more so than the actual cartoon Jessica Rabbit, you might want to just pull the reins back a little bit there. Just pull it on back. Number five is Michaela Romanini. Michaela Romanini is a 65-year-old Italian socialite that has had nearly the same amount of fame in Italy as Paris Hilton did back in the day in the US. Unfortunately, her fame and excessive attention to her physical appearance led to plastic surgery addiction at an early age. At a young age, she began undergoing procedures on her face and became hooked on receiving collagen injections, which made her lips inflated and oversized. 
surprised. Romanini is as famous for her surgeries and the drastic effect it had on her appearance as she is for her socialite status. It's not so much the look of this that bothers me so much, it's more a curiosity as to how these people eat. Like when she looks at solid foods, does she just get nervous sweats or does she just stick to a liquid diet? I genuinely want to know. Can you put my burger and fries in a blender for me? That would make it a lot easier. Do you have a straw? Number six is Jocelyn Wildenstein. Jocelyn Wildenstein is a 60 year old wealthy art dealer and socialite from California who became addicted to plastic surgery after catching her husband cheating on her with a younger Russian model. Not a good reason to get plastic surgery. Instead of divorcing her husband like most women would do, she turned to beauty enhancement surgeries in order to keep him around. Again. Not a good reason. Hundreds of hours of surgery later, Jocelyn's face has become puppy and devoid of all ability to show any facial expression. Oh, you surprised me. She has spent a whopping $4 million on her surgeries, and some media personalities have even given her the nickname The Bride of Wildenstein, which, of course, is a play on the name Frankenstein. Okay, that goes way too far. Media, you need to check yourself sometimes because that is offensive. Frankenstein had plenty of ability to move his face. Number seven is Hang Miyoku. Oh, this one. Hang Miyoku is a South Korean woman who became completely addicted to having plastic surgery done after her first procedure was done at just 28 years old. After 20 more years and dozens of operations, her face has become so large and malformed that doctors finally had to cut her off refusing her any further surgeries. Now, that would stop most people, but not hang. No, no, no. Taking matters into her own hands, she began injecting cooking oil into her own face. After her self-injection incident, doctors were able to drain most of the oil out, but she was left with facial scars and disfigurement. <laughs> That was not for comedic effect. I'm sorry, that just really grossed me out. Uh, I feel bad for this woman and she needs to stop injecting cooking oil in Pam and other cooking agents into her face. I need a drink of water. Number eight is Eric Sprague. 44 year old Eric Sprague, also known as the Lizard Man, is a freak show and sideshow performer, best known for his body modification that he has undergone in order to look more like a Lizard. The procedures that he had done involved implanting five Teflon steel bumps under each eyebrow and that's not all. He has stretched his septum and earlobes with oversized piercings, has had 700 hours of tattooing done, and split his own tongue in half lengthwise. In fact, he was one of the first people in the entire world to do it. No, I like my tongue just the way it is. Number nine is Sarah Burge. Sarah Burge, formerly a British Playboy bunny, is well known as the human Barbie, since having undergone a total of 100 cosmetic surgery procedures within 20 years, costing over $3 million. The extent of those surgeries included nose jobs, butt lifts, facial liposuction, boob jobs, restructured jawline, tummy tucks, eyelid lifts, chin augmentation, and I'm running out of breath. Yeah, she definitely earned the nickname Barbie, but her addiction to plastic surgery went way too far when she admitted to injecting her 15-year-old daughter with Botox. And not only that, but she gave her seven-year-old daughter a certificate to receive liposuction and a boob job as soon as she turns 18. And the cycle of plastic faces continues. And number 10 is Dennis Avner. Dennis Avner was an American man and best known for his extensive body modifications. After discovering that his Native American name means stalking cat, he decided to get any and all surgeries necessary to fit the name. So he proceeded to spend millions of dollars to get the following. Brace yourself. Full body tattoos, including facial tattooing, facial subdermal implants to change the shape of his brow, forehead, and the bridge of his nose, flattening his nose, silicone injection in his lips, cheeks, chin, and other parts of his face, <gasps> splitting his upper lip, filling and reshaping his teeth, surgically reshaping his ears to be pointed, surgical hairline modification, no, I didn't get that done, transdermal implants on his forehead to facilitate wearing whiskers, <gasps> green contact lenses with slit irises, and of course, wearing a robotic tail. Meh. The Catman passed away at the age of 54 in 2012. 
rest in peace. Meow. So that's it, but I wanna know from you guys, which one on this list, in your opinion, is the craziest example of a plastic surgery disaster? Or, did I miss someone? Is there someone else out there that I didn't have on this list that is worse than the 10 that I put on here? I don't even know if I wanna know that, but I kinda do. So leave a comment below, and I will be responding to as many of you as possible. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.